Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Crosspad Castle. I am Rogue, your animator, and I will be showing you how to load a motion. Now, this is not how to make a motion. We know how to make motions, and I will share that information with you. However, if you're um, a newbie to MMD, which is who these tutorials are for, this is for likely young, but hey, you can be old too, um, MMDers who have never touched Blender, who have, you know, they don't know what they're doing, they don't know anything, they are babies. This is for tutorial for you, okay? On how to load a motion. So in the previous tutorials, I showed you how to install Blender and the plugin for MMD, basically turning Blender into Miku Miku Dance, which I still have um, very near and dear feelings about Miku Miku Dance. But unfortunately, it is very out to date. I'm not a fan of the Raycast and the stuff that Raycast can make. I would just rather jump to Blender. Um, so in previous tutorial, we covered materials. Um, and our model looks great because she has all of her materials have... Um, well, you can't, you can't see it. You know, if, we, if you watch the other tutorial, you will see the breakdown of... Um, if you separate by materials, um, you can you know, pick each material and put, for example, uh, this has a cotton material, this has a silk material. Um, you can put bump maps on your entire model, so making her look fabulous. All right, everybody, so now you want to know a little bit about importing animations to your model. And before you let anybody ever shame you, being like, oh, well, you're not a real animator, you just went to DeviantArt and downloaded you know, you went up here, you went MMD, and you typed in motion. And then you downloaded BTSD Dope, which is a dope animation, by the way. But you went and you downloaded that, and then you said, I made an animation. Well, you didn't make the animation, but you did load the motion. And that's part of being in a community, guys. Um, we share our animations um, in Miku Miku Dance, and not all of them, you know, some of them we keep to ourselves, but, you know, the other community that does the same thing, Unreal Engine, just look at this, if I go into Unreal Engine and I type in animation, look at this, this is motion data, guys, which usually comes from motion capture, um, a lot of MMD stuff, surprisingly, has motion capture, especially the stuff coming out of Japan. However, most people in, like, especially the American community, make animations by hand and export them. Even I've done that. If you go to my DeviantArt, Crossbite Castle DeviantArt, you will see that I have, I'm distributing animation data to my community because this community has lifted me up. Now I'm making these tutorials to kind of give back the knowledge that I have gathered ever since I was a cringy weeaboo making DDLC Vine comps just for fun. This is my this is my passionate hobby. I love 3D animation. I love sharing that with you. So if you are into Unreal Engine, don't, you know, you're like, that's the real stuff. Well, you know what? MMD and the original Miku Miku Dance, fun fact, was a gaming engine. It's just, it's out of date and we've moved on to Blender, but we can take our prized motions with you. So I will be using, uh, <laughs> not Applebee's. I will not be using Applebee's. I will be using um, this Follow the Leader motion download. I will not be playing the song because it is not monetizable and I just don't, don't want to have it blaring in the background as I show you how to do this. So, you know, we're focusing on tutorial and learning, but we will be doing this motion that somebody, uh, Natsumi-san, made this amazing motion has got bazillion views holy cow that is crazy we will be using that motion on this model and, you know so like i said this tutorial is not for making animations not yet this is purely for making mo a motion okay not making oh crap this is purely for loading motions, just to get you started with your beginner MMD stuff. So, we click on the armature and the mesh. All right, you want both highlighted. If you do not highlight both, 
you will have some serious issues that I will get into later. Uh, do not have your material separate. So if you do the se uh, separate by materials option and you load your materials onto your model, um, don't load your motion data. It's going to have a lot of problems. Um, some face edits, especially if you get into making your own models, and I will also have a tutorial on that. Uh, but if you get into making your own models, you're going to have some serious uh, wonkage. Uh, the eyes, you know, you'll you'll actually see holes in the eyes. There'll be like lots of problems, and there's no reason because you just cut, just go back to join meshes. You know, uh, automatically it will join all the meshes. Okay. So you click on the mesh, you click on the armature, and just like MMD, you know, you go to the operator, you scroll down to motion, and you click import. Then, you know, for me, I go to where I put my file, and then you go to follow the leader. Okay, and that's the motion. All right. Oh, she closed her eyes. Must mean it's ready. So this is the animation data. When you make a motion, so say, you know, you're, uh, maybe you're not a noob, maybe you're just trying to upgrade to Blender, you know? You know, or maybe you're just curious about how MMD works. Normally, when you go into Miku Miku Dance, and you go, you know, you go to your file, uh, give me a moment, you know, you load your model automatically, you know, she spawns, I mean, and look at the difference, guys, between Blender and and this. I mean, this isn't bad. I mean, she's she's a you know gorgeous model. I I know I love her, but you know, um, you know she could be better, and that's why if you can do you know Blender's free, the uh, MMD tools is free, and and like I said, I'm using MMD U U U Naya. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It just sounds crazy, uh, but you're using the updated you know MMD tools. Um. You know, and we we want to load the motion in here. So, like, with, with Miku Miku Dance. And there's tons of tutorials on this, so I won't be showing you basic MMD stuff. Um, because it's outdated. And, you know, I really want to push people towards, um, you know, growing and, and learning Blender. Because this is a good gateway to, to learning Blender and doing animations outside MMD. Um, even SFM is kind of heading that way. So... Anyways, for like Amiga Amiga Dance, you could just go to load, you know, go file, load motion. You know, up, oh, she's it's loaded. Now it's playing. And, and there is a, a few things. Oh, wait, it's not playing it. Okay, well, you know, you got to put. I always forget, you got to kind of put the time code. You got to put zero to 2,000 frames. Oh my gosh. Why aren't you moving, Miku? All right, now she's moving. Now, now there are some good things about. MMD. Uh, because it's a gaming engine, it has uh, rigid world bodies that are, are kind of built into the model controlling the physics. Um, and if you don't know what that is, I'm going to just put a little a PNG of what um, you know this model looks like with uh, the rigid world bodies on. Um, and Blender has its own separate physics engine. So when, you know, and I will show you how to spawn in MMD tools, the physics separate. Uh, actually, no, I'll probably have to show you in this tutorial. Otherwise, you know, you'll make a motion and then I'll be like, oh, crap. It looks like shit. Why? Why is it so crappy? This is your fault, Rogue. You didn't, didn't teach me crap. Okay. Well, anyways. So that's that's how MMD works. Uh, but we're not doing that. But I have loaded that same data that you saw. Oh, my God. Miku. Okay. Well, there was an error. Something happened. My model is flying all over. This happens sometimes, guys. Um, <laughs> sorry, she's just wow, wow, Miku. Where, where are you? What are you doing? Why are you flying? Where, where are your legs going, girl? You got problems. Like you, you're possessed. <laughs> He's doing the splits, floating. Okay, well. Uh, this happens sometimes, so I'm gonna re- you just have to reload, uh, pretty much everything. So, give me a moment. We will cut back to this, uh, when Miku stops being possessed. Dear God, Miku, stop. 
Okay, guys, so I'm back. Look, I have to tell you, there is a bit of a bug in the program I forgot about entirely. It doesn't always happen. It has to do with the scale importer. So when you import uh, Miku, you know, at first, so this is going back to, uh, you're, go you're going to go in and you're going to just have it scaling at a 1.1 ratio. Um, but you're going to highlight everything, and I mean everything. Don't touch the materials, don't touch the mes meshes. You just have the select tool in object mode, you do a giant square, everything's Cheeto orange. You press S, then you press .08. That will scale it to the same size. Sometimes motions, I don't know what uh, Blender is, cal they're calculating the armature. And the w the work around this for me has always been to just automatically S.08. Um, for camera motion data, I've never had this issue. But some motions, I, I don't know what it is. In Blender's translation of motion data from MMD, sometimes, you know, that possessed poltergeist effect will happen, okay? And, um, you know, you just deal with it. You just, you know, reload your model. You'll have to reload materials, which I will do in a second. And um, we will cut to that. But just for a brief test to make sure that I'm not crazy, um, click the armature, click the motion. Uh, make sure you're on zero. So this is your timeline. Uh, Blender auto generates the timeline for me. So like it's whenever I open, you know, it's the 3D viewer and then it's, uh, you know, this clock, which is timeline already loaded. So I never really worry about it. But if for some reason your version of Blender doesn't have that, um, I'll show you how to lift it up real quick. So you go to into import motion, uh, follow the leader. Let's see it. As you have it loaded. Okay, there she is. No longer. You have been exorcised. You are saved, Miku. <laughs> you are no longer possessed by a demon. Okay, well. Alright, so there are no physics yet on this model and unfortunately um, there are a few things we're going to have to fix before we render our final animation of this motion but we're not gonna we'll, we'll do that right now um, but anyways I will not be loading the sound for this motion because it is uh, it belongs to some bigwood music producer. So you will not be able to monetize this. You could post it on your YouTube, but it won't be monetizable. Uh, so I don't recommend using that motion unless you just want to make something for fun and you don't care about that. Which, you know, that's a valid reason to make motions or use them. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I'm going to end the tutorial here because um, it's going it's going way over time. So this will be a two-parter. Oh my god, I'm so shook. Look at my face. Ah. Ah. Okay, anyways. Uh, so the tutorial, I'm going to end it here. And then we'll, um, it'll be up in part two. So you can see how to render in detail um, in Blender. Alright, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.